Okay, so we're going to talk about soldering wires to the leads on the uh, batteries. So this battery has some wire, solid core wires attached to it, and that makes it a lot easier to plug in and uh, pull out of the breadboard or pins on the Arduino header. Um, and here is a pre-soldered uh, battery pack. Um, so I stripped this wire quite a bit, uh, and now I'll show stripping this wire. If you don't know ahead of time how what size to do, you can put the wire into a hole and then try the next hole and keep going until you feel it bite. Um, and this one says 20, and I just stripped it off, and it seems like that worked pretty well. Um, and the reason I'm stripping that off is so that I have enough extra wire to do, or to at least attempt to do this, which is the NASA standards for splicing wires together. So you lay them across each other, and they overlap, and then you wrap one around the other and in the other direction as well. And then you're supposed to cover the entire thing with solder around the entire thing. Um, and this will give a pretty solid mechanical and electrical connection, even though these uh, should never really be relied upon for mechanical uh, strength. So I'm going to put this wire in there and use my soldering iron right here to do what's called tinning it. And that's where I will take a little bit of solder and put it on the tip of the wire. Um, just like this. And it'll be a little bit hard to do exactly what's shown in that picture with these wires because one of them is solid core and the other one is um, uh, stranded. So that is now tinned. It just has a tiny little bit of solder along the entire length. Um, and I will do the same with this, just a little bit. Um, so since this one is solid core and this one is stranded, this one will be much easier to bend and than the other one. It'll also be much harder to bend the other one around it. So that's why it won't look quite like that, even though I'm going to try to approximate that. Um, and this little guy is called Helping Hands. Uh, if you don't have one of these, you can ask someone nearby to help you approximate it. Um, so I'm going to lay them across each other like this and wrap as best I can. Actually, maybe I'll bring that one out just for a second. So I'm going to wrap that one around, and that's probably the best I'll be able to do. I won't really be able to wrap this one very well. And it's a pretty, pretty good connection right there. Um, there. So now I will heat it up and solder it. So solder likes to go wherever the heat is. So don't try just to melt the solder. Try to heat up the thing that you want the solder to go to. Um, and cover the entire thing and make sure that your sponge is wet so you can wipe it off, wipe off the tip of the soldering iron when you're done doing a little bit. Uh, keep it clean. Once that is done, you can take this guy and get some tape. Um, ideally, we would have heat shrink um, because heat shrink will uh, provide a more stable connection, um, mechanically speaking. So I'm going to take about that much and cut it with the scissors. And I'm going to start a little bit before this thing and end a little bit after so that I cover all of the electrical parts. So I'll put the tape on like that, and then I'll fold it over on itself so that it sticks really well. And then I'll pull tight and at an angle to get the 
tape to go up towards the solder and cover it and a little bit uh, keep a mechanical um, connection between the sleeve covering the wire down here and the sleeve covering the wire up here. And that is how you solder um, a little solid core wire to this thing so you can plug it into this more easily. You can plug it in before it's soldered. It's just a little bit more difficult and it'll pop out way more easily. With this, plugs in easy and it stays there. And that's it. Oh, um, before I finish though, I will make sure that this has a solid connection by getting my multimeter out and going to the little sound symbol right there. And that means that it will beep if there's a solid connection. So I'll take out the leads and touch them to each other. And it should beep. It's not beeping, of course. Oh, I have to hit function on this one. There. So I had to hit function until that little symbol came up. And now if I touch them together, it beeps. Um, and I will uh, hold this to here. It doesn't really matter which you put where. Uh, it just matters that you um, put one of the leads on one end and the other lead on the other end. So this right here is the positive side of the battery closest to this switch or where the battery would go that's closest to the switch. Um, and right now I'm going to show you if you do the same thing with the negative, it won't do anything because the switch is off. So I'll switch it on. The battery switch is in the on position now, and now it should beep. So the wire, the black wire, actually comes in and goes all the way over here and then connects to this thing. And that's it. That's how you can solder, cover it, and make it easy to plug into the board and check that you've done a good soldering job. Thank you. Bye.